And our county's losing a lot of money by not having them. Because instead of issuing tickets to send money to the state, we could be issuing tickets to send money in the county's pocket. But what I'd like to do is have an individual from Board Commissioner Smart, someone from the Sheriff's Department, whoever would be interested in participating, someone from the townships, to get together to review, revamp our county ordinances. And also, I think it'd be good to have someone from townships so that we can cross-compare and make sure that we're not impeding on their already established ordinances. Here, the Honorable Judge, Cassandra Lynn Morse-Bills, speaks at a town hall meeting as the Oscoda County Prosecutor before she was eventually elected judge. She's explaining to the board members how they are in need of updating the ordinances for the county and its townships. I want to get that started because if we wait until the last year, we're, it's not going to get done. We need to start it now. So it's something, Mark, Mark, that I want to get started on. Um, as soon as I get that assistant, I'll have time to do it. So. What she is referring to here is her push to get Christy McGregor as her assistant prosecuting attorney. When Cassandra Lynn Morse Bills became both district and circuit court judge for Oscoda County, Christy McGregor became the lead prosecutor. Well, like I, I said, I read a lot of them. There's a lot of redundancy. There's a lot of stuff that, like, I even question, can you do that? There, no, and, that's what I say. A lot of it's unconstitutional. You can't eat it. A lot of them are unenforceable. And there's some that are so old. Yeah. Here the conversation is about the current ordinances and how some of them are unconstitutional and unenforceable. And our county's losing a lot of money by not having them. Because instead of issuing tickets to send the money to the state, we could be issuing tickets to send money into the county's pocket. Because instead of issuing tickets to send the money to the state, we could be issuing tickets to send money into the county's pocket. Ordinances are meant to protect the public and the community and instill a safe and healthy living environment. Here, the Honorable Judge, Cassandra Lynn Morsebill's only concern is the money that the county will get from updating these ordinances. We're just simply not doing it because we don't have update ordinances. So, as the Board of Commissioners and their financial responsibility to the county, I think it's an important top of the agenda item to revamp these county ordinances. <laughs> it's very clear here, let's update the county ordinances so we get more money. That is why it's a top of the agenda item as the Honorable Judge, Cassandra Lynn Morse, Bill states. This is a perfect example of small town corruption in America. It's all about the money, and now this former prosecutor is both the district and circuit court judge in Oscoda County, Michigan. Yes, that means she determines if there is probable cause to bind over a district court case to circuit court, and then she is the same judge that hears that case in circuit court. The current Oscoda County prosecutor, Christy McGregor, is not elected as prosecutor and has been there since 2019. Public officials, such as a prosecutor, represent the state of Michigan and are to be elected by the people. Oscoda County seems to have multiple questionable practices, and as Judge Cassandra Morse Bills sits as district and circuit court judge, she is at the center of a civil rights lawsuit involving her former assistant prosecutor, Christy McGregor. This video is part one of a series investigating Oscoda County government. Here you've seen proof firsthand of the main motivation for updating ordinances. Not for the people or the community, but for issuing tickets to put money in the county's because pocket. Instead of issuing tickets to send money to the state, we could be issuing tickets to send money into the county's pocket.